We will now look at the types of Bravais lattices we can have, distinct lattices we can have in two dimensions and three dimensions. So you can see that in two dimensions we have uh, five types or five distinct types of Bravais lattices. Those are oblique lattice, rectangular lattice, centered rectangular lattice, square lattice and hexagonal lattice. So uh, you can see that uh, we classify these according to their symmetry properties. So for the oblique lattice, uh, we have uh, the twofold rotation axis. Um, so we have A not equal to B and alpha the angle between A and B is not equal to 90 degrees. And this twofold rotation axis is on each lattice side. So this has the least symmetry. Uh, next one is rectangular lattice. Now we have A is not equal to B, but alpha, the angle between A and B, equals to 90 degrees. Uh, we still have two-fold rotation axis on each lattice sides, and we also have orthogonal uh, mirror planes or mirror axes uh, at each lattice side, as you can see. Uh, in the centered rectangular lattice, the symmetry is the same as that for any other rectangular lattice in addition to the minimum symmetries of any oblique lattice. So both oblique lattice and rectangular lattice symmetries are present at each lattice site. Uh, so it's just uh, the rectangular lattice. We just put another uh, lattice site in the middle. In the square lattice, A is equal to B and alpha is equal to 90 degrees. We have fourfold rotational uh, symmetry on lattice points and we have mirror planes at every 45 degrees. Uh, if you put another uh, lattice point in the middle, a centered square lattice would still be a square lattice, so that is not a distinct lattice. So you can see here on lattice sides we have fourfold rotational symmetry and 45 degree uh, mirror planes. And for the Hexagonal lattice, A is equal to B, but alpha, the angle between A and B, is 120 degrees. This has six-fold rotational uh, symmetry on each lattice side. And uh, also we have uh, mirror planes at every uh, 30 degrees. Okay, so oblique lattice, rectangular lattice, centered rectangular lattice, square lattice, and hexagonal lattice. These are our... Uh, two-dimensional Bravais lattices. This is in the order of increasing symmetry. So the symmetry properties become uh, rich as you go from oblique lattice to hexagonal lattice. Now what is the corresponding scenario in uh, three dimensions? Uh, Three-dimensional Bravais lattices are grouped into seven and in each lattice group the same point group symmetry is exhibited. So we have the same set of rotation, uh, inversion, uh, mirror symmetry properties, etc. Uh, so uh, starting from cubic structure, uh, so cubic is here, A1 equals A2 equals A3. So we're talking about uh, A1, A2, A3. And uh, the angle between them, alpha, beta, gamma, between A1, A2, A2, A3, and A1, A3, they're all 90 degrees. We have three types of cubic structures. Simple cubic, all points at the corners. Body-centered cubic, there is one point at the body center in addition. And face-centered cubic, we have all points at the corners plus face centers. Next, we have tetragonal structure. Tetragonal structure is obtained by stretching a cube along A3. There are two types, uh, simple tetragonal and body-centered tetragonal. So uh, here is tetragonal structure. A1 equals A2, but not equals to A3. Uh, and alpha, beta, gamma, the angles between A1, A2, A2, A3, and A1, A3 are 90 degrees. So one is simple tetragonal, the other one is body-centered tetragonal. Um, then we have orthorhombic. Uh, A1, A2, and A3 are not equal. Alpha, beta, and gamma are 90 degrees. This is obtained by stretching a tetragonal along A1 or A2, for example. There are four types of orthorhombic. Simple orthorhombic, 
base centered orthorhombic, body centered orthorhombic, and face centered orthorhombic. So you can see simple orthorhombic all at the corners. Base centered, there are two at base centers. Uh, body center, there is one point at the body center, and face center, there are additional points at face center. So that's orthorhombic. Now, <clears throat> after orthorhombic comes monoclinic. Monoclinic, A1, A2, and A3 are not equal. Alpha and beta are 90 degrees, but gamma is not 90 degrees. So this is uh, obtained by distorting a rectangular face of the orthorhombic to be a parallelogram. It's it has two types, simple monoclinic and base-centered monoclinic. So here you can see A1, A2, A3 are not equal. Two angles are 90 degrees. One angle is not 90 degrees. And there is simple monoclinic and base-centered monoclinic. Uh, after monoclinic, we have triclinic. Uh, A1, A2, A3 are not equal. Alpha, beta and gamma are not equal. Uh, so this is obtained by distorting remaining uh, rectangles in the monoclinic. Uh, there's only one type, it's simple triclinic. So you have alpha, beta, gamma not equal, A1, A2, A3 not equal, and it is uh, obtained by distorting a monoclinic structure. There's only simple triclinic. Okay, um, now we also have tri trigonal. Uh, A1, A2, and A3 are equal, alpha, beta, and gamma are equal, but they're not equal to 90 degrees. So how do we obtain trigonal structure? We stretch a cube along its diagonal. There is only one type, simple trigonal. Uh, so you can see here, it's also called rhombohedral. Trigonal or rhombohedral, it's the same thing. A1, A2, A3 equal, alpha, beta, gamma equal, but not equal to 90 degrees. So you can easily see it's obtained by stretching a cube along its diagonal. And then we have hexagonal. A1 and A2 are equal, but A3 not equal to A3. Alpha and beta are 90 degrees, and gamma is 120 degrees. There is only one type, hexagonal base centered. You can see here we have... Uh, points at the corners and at the base center as well and then we also have uh, three uh, points uh, in the middle in the middle plane okay so we'll talk about this hexagonal structure in more detail later okay so what is the hierarchy of symmetries so the most symmetric one is the cubic structure we distort the cube we obtain a tetragonal we distort the tetragonal we obtain orthorhombic monoclinic and triclinic. So this triclinic has the least amount of symmetry. Cubic has the highest amount of symmetry. By distorting cubic, we also obtain trigonal and by it's also possible to obtain monoclinic by distorting a trigonal structure. And hexagonal uh, structure has a higher symmetry compared to trigonal structure, as you can see here. So this is the uh, uh, hierarchy of symmetries in the three-dimensional uh, Brave lattices. Okay, so we talked about uh, distinct types of Brave lattices. We have five distinct types of Brave lattices in two dimensions. Oblique lattice, rectangular lattice, centered rectangular lattice, square lattice, and hexagonal lattice. In three dimensions, we have uh, 14 uh, distinct Brave lattices, they're grouped into seven, and in each group we have the same point group symmetry. Uh, in cubic, we have simple, body centered, face centered. In tetragonal, uh, we have simple, body centered. In orthorhombic, we have simple, base centered, body centered, face centered. Monoclinic, we have simple and base centered. Triclinic, there is only simple triclinic. Then we have trigonal and hexagonal, which is base centered hexagonal because we have uh, one point at the base centers as well. Uh, and as for the hierarchy of symmetries, the most symmetric one is cubic. Um, then we distort the cube to obtain tetragonal and then orthorhombic and then monoclinic and triclinic, and that's decreasing symmetry. By distorting cubic, we can also obtain trigonal, and from trigonal, we can obtain monoclinic. And hexagonal has higher symmetry compared to trigonal, so trigonal can be obtained 
uh, apparently also from